It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it's coming up next. Well, the humidity is still a factor on this fall afternoon, but no rain in the forecast. That's the good news as you look inside Everbank Stadium here in Jacksonville. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? The punter Logan Cook set to start the proceedings and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. So the Packers make their way out for the first time and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience, waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Throwing. Love. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A stoppage here following the play, and it looks like Josh Jacobs was shaken up and in need of some assistance. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, here in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. They'll run again with Wilson. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Third and nine here. Now Love. It got his man complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jaden Reed, 62 yards. And the Packers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions 
and, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. McManus's point after is good, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And the result, a Green Bay score. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here come the Jaguars to take over for the first time behind Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback in season number four. Last year was a bit of a mixed bag for Lawrence as he started off looking like a budding superstar. But then he suffered an ankle injury and was a shell of himself the rest of the way. His team needs him to stay healthy if they plan on maximizing their full potential. And if that ends up being the case, they'll have a good shot to win a lot of games here in 2024. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 27. On the ground with Bigsby to start to drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Looking to throw, Lawrence. That's caught. It's the former Bill, Gabe Davis. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me... Their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. And a gain of four gets them right to the midfield stripe. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. ETN once more. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Third and four. Lawrence. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he will have a Jaguars first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Here's Lawrence. Over the middle complete. It's Davis. 
Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four of four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. Here's Lawrence to throw. To the right side and complete to Thomas. So no gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Brian Thomas, 31 yards. And the Jaguars are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Point after, right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Love looking to throw it. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now second and five. On the draw, it's Wilson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run the toss here to Wilson. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss, 
Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guys at the cornerback position. Second down and eight. To throw now. Here's Love. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked into the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The kick by McManus is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Now Lawrence to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. That is caught. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. In motion right is Davis. Now Lawrence. Throw right side caught by Davis. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now second and three. On play action, Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And Kirk is going to have the Jaguars first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue.
And to throw again is Lawrence. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That's complete to Parker Washington. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 33. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Jacksonville and it's the Jags with the football. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33 as they've got it as we resume action. On first and 10, it's ETN. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now Lawrence. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jags. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So a frustrating result. It's a 10-play drive, but it yields nothing on the scoreboard. And to get off the field there without giving up points, that's a big win defensively. The Packers offense set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. A four-receiver set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's taken in by Watson. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. Love. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and nine from the 44. Here's Love. 
Well, it's complete to the tight end, Tucker Craft. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he had great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Love now. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs, a nine-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point from McManus is good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice and that often runs you into a penalty. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 16. On play action, they'll throw. Thomas brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. And let's just go ahead and list all the things Scout saw when he was coming out of LSU. Tracks the ball easily. Great vertical speed. Plays above the rib. Excellent catch radius and has good contact strength. That led to 17 touchdowns scored last year, which led college football. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Straight ahead, ETN. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. On first down, right back to ETN. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, 
I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Another toad for ETN. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Lawrence will throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down. And they may be going backward here. So they decline the hold, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jags. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. They go bootleg, love. And that is incomplete here. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Second and 10. Throwing. Love. He finds his man. Complete. That's Reed. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Play fake. Here's Love. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Timing is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Jacob's going to try the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Love from the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Here's Jacobs from the gun. Stays on his feet. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Love. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now a second and ten. Back to throw. Love. And he comes back with one complete. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Looking to throw. Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers are able to extend their lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. McManus now for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three didn't go through the goalpost so it does test the mental processes of a team though doesn't it because when you miss a field goal it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball but you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch and guess what you need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game make sure you keep him happy make sure you keep him comfortable i'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely though right you know truthfully I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Here's Lawrence to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Lawrence. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt for Jacksonville. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Here comes the offense again. And let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable. And really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards 
You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Love looking to throw it. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and ten. To throw now. Here's Love. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Back to throw. Love. That to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. His throw incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 41-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Play action this time with Love. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Like it's been as negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, just continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue, but all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Final play of the half, it's Lawrence. He's gonna launch it for Washington. And he's got it! What a catch on the sideline. 
So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacob. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 24. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Motion man left is Kirk. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Now Lawrence to throw. That's complete to Davis. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. In motion right is Davis. ETN up the middle. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That was all Preston Smith navigating into the backfield. He gets the tackle for loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Looking to throw Lawrence. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. A 
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Love. That's taken in. Dontavian Wicks. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Working out of the gun. Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Off the play fake, Love. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. In motion goes the tight end. Now Lawrence. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. A handoff for ETN. Now this will be a Jaguars first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 48 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. First downs have not come easy and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. 
second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. Here's a give to ETN. And some room to work. And he will take this all the way down to the Packers 15. It's a gain of 34. This has been a good drive so far. And it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there. Picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Oh, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out, and that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a pro. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Trevor Lawrence punching it in from a yard away. And the Jaguars go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Now the extra point. He's got it, and the score's now 27-14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by Trevor Lawrence taking it in himself. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Packers offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So from the 37, here's a second down and four. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line.
They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. Love now. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. But well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Love, they go play action now. He's got his target. That's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They had things a little spread out there with four wide receivers, and it opened up a running hole. Yeah, not only do you get better running lanes because you are spread out, oftentimes when defenses see four wide receivers, they substitute in extra defensive backs, so you're blocking smaller personnel. That gives your running back a nice chance downfield against that type of a defense. Trayvon Walker makes the tackle. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. to pass here's Jordan Love work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion and Brandon from our time in college football where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree one thing they did learn find open areas find soft spots and set up and catch the ball and I think we just saw that there yeah we saw that indeed picking up the first Throwing, Love, that's complete to Dobbs. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. And I think he just wanted to give the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area, and after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Here's second and three. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Love from the gun. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So all things considered, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now with a 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple of two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence. And it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Jaguars offense and Travis Etienne set to take over once again. And he's been the focal point of this offense. And when you get a performance like this, you can almost invariably add that the offensive line play has also been stellar. And that's definitely been the case here. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. Is that he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. The Jaguars on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. Lawrence. And it is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards the final tally good yardage on the completion there and when they look at the scoreboard they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good my guess they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible so into packer territory now here's first and 10 at the 43 a handoff running left is etn down inside the 40. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position. And sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. 91 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. From the gun, it's Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 16 yards on the play as they try to chip away at this 16-point deficit. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll run with ETN, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And one more time with ETN. 
And once again, that middle going to be clogged up as he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. On third and goal, Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Gabriel Davis, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars get a bit closer. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion. And now we're back to a one-score game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, Jesus, second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Love looking to throw it. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here's Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 13-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Love. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. To throw now, here's Love. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. 
And now it's third down. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Love from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Packers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Jacobs is in. Touchdown, Packers. Ah, oh, what a luxury it is to be able to call on a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm glad I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Only three there on the screen at second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Now Lawrence. Room past the 35. As they finally wrangle him in at the 48. 19 yards there on the catch and run. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Lawrence will throw. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. And then they... Touchdown, Jaguars! Gabriel Davis with now two fourth-quarter touchdowns. And the Jaguars are able to cut into that deficit. So this now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good, so that will get them back within one score. 
The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Now they can't bring him down. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Things sure were looking good for him at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. You know, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. On play action. Love to throw. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Love. Able to find his man, Kraft. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Again, it's Love. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots him. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Working out of the gun, Love. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The Packers on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This will be third and a mile. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars down by eight, a minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Yeah. 
Throwing now, Lawrence. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Back to throw. Lawrence. He gets it to Thomas. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here comes second down at five. Here's Lawrence. Throw left side complete to Ingram. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage and milestones and real rules. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Lawrence. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Devontae Wyatt in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Brandon, you got us some urgency here. You've got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is they're all 30 yards downfield after that play. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you can see what they were trying to do. Just send those guys out there to make a play. But that is a costly interception. Yeah, that's kind of like the backyard. Everybody go deep. And let's see if we can find someone. Four verticals in the route. Any other time of the game, I love the call. But here, you're not going to hold safety. You're not going to hold corners with any looks. Because they know what the situation is. Ends up throwing the interception. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. 
Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get going, and points become a little bit harder to score near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. But no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.